Welcome back to the channel. This morning we are heading down to Norwell and Wetherill Park. Um, now, if you've been following the channel uh, for some time now, I've been saying that I really want that Norwell canopy. Um, and yeah, I've just been saving up in the past year. And, and yeah, I finally put a deposit on one uh, in December uh, and it's finally ready to be fitted today. And you know, this is the last uh, big upgrade we're going to do to the 79. Uh, but it's actually going to be a game changer for me because um, yeah, I've only had a ute tray in the past year and, and also a cargo case but if you can imagine anything which can't be wet has to be in the car uh, so you can see I'm not sure if you can see but you know generally my interior is pretty packed uh, so yeah if you say that the 79 interior is quite small well it's actually not too bad I, uh, I've juggled two kids uh, and a pram in here before so um, it's really not too bad now I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to film today uh, but uh, yeah, heading down to Norwood now and I'll see you guys there. Danny's fitting my canopy of choice, the Norwell Deluxe Compact Canopy. Sit back and enjoy the footage of the fitting process. going for a walk and spotted this really nice new ranger. It's a lot bigger than the old rangers actually. I'm not sure if it shows on camera. Also sitting on the BP-51s. It's got a normal canopy base and the compact canopy. Just like mine. I think this one's got a, that, I think it's called a platinum wiring package they offer. But yeah. Side by side, let's go to the front. Side by side of the 79 and the Ranger. And you can just see how much bigger the Ranger is compared to the 79. Huge difference. Uh, the 79 here, this one looks like it's got a J Max, um, the J Max suspension setup. I think that's the J Max Alpha, Alpha Shock, I think. Um, and also the whole, uh, I think this is an extended rear end uh, with the J-Max cold sprung conversion. Standard 79 rear end. And that's a J-Max. Chunky, heaps bigger. Yeah, really nice. Here's the new tail lights. Very nice. Yep. Any seats? Yeah, yep, cool. Okay, this way he's got to go in first. Oh, okay. Right there and then come back around. All right. So, um, so might be this way here. One, two, three. <laughs> Come back, come back around. 
There we go. Oh, easy. Three keys, like this four mil Allen keys. Um, I think the canopy doors are normally set up pretty good. I'm a little bit tighter than that. Yeah, that that's, a bit, that's a bit loose. You feel that, feel that one's a little bit looser on the, on the clamp. Yep. So what we need to do, um, we've got this screw here, just undo it. And the closer you move it to the rubber, um, the more compression you will get. Yep. So I just sort of just inch it down with your fingers, down a little bit, a bit further. Tighten it up, um, close the door. Awesome. Still a bit more, still probably a little bit more. Probably could do a little bit more compression. That one seems to be still tighter. Yep. So what we'll do is undo it again. Just walk it down with your fingers. I think that will be good. That should be good to go. And tighten it up. Awesome. This one here, oh, see that also. That service. <laughs> Just talking about how to fix one of the sticky yeah. latches. Yeah, you get latches that stick every now and then. This yeah. stuff here is really good. Seven dollars at Bunnings, and it just works wonders with everything. Um, so you just spray it in the back here, back of the lock. Yeah, little chambers in there, and you'll see now it won't stick. Yeah, it's just that's making some popping noises simple. before. Oh wow! Yeah. Awesome. It's all good. And also into your lock. You know what? This was the one. This was the, the one was side box which was left open. Oh, that's probably a little, why. A bit of corrosion in there, so that's yeah. probably from the salt water. It was water. probably definitely from me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll lubricate. I'll lubricate that in. Yeah, this is not normal. I actually, if you guys remember, I had uh, left that lid open. I drove for 30 k's on Morton Island, um, and yeah, no damage to the box. Just a, just a nice adjustment. Fix. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh baby. Awesome. Looking so good. Finally some secure storage and it looks amazing as well. I'm so happy with it. All right, so that's the canopy fitted. It's just starting to, to rain now, but we'll just quickly go through the canopy. First of all, thank you to Jono and Danny from Norwell Sydney. You guys really took care of me with this build um, from start to finish and uh, yeah this is the Norworld compact uh, U-Light canopy so compact being I think it's 1.5 meters long uh, so it is not a full length canopy and I'm so glad I did that I was actually talked out of getting a full length just based on the standard wheel base uh, and also the weight distribution you know if you put a full length there and a spare on the back it's actually a lot of weight past the axle so upright fridge I'm planning to put uh, the Bushman 130 litre here um, and also with the Red Vision catalogue uh, I'm going to be running probably about 200 or 300 amps of lithium um, just cause uh, I can't open this with two hands but I'll show you guys a Norworld map one of the best things about this canopy I love this map, map of Australia um, and yeah on this side I'll probably just be putting my kitchen stuff um, and on this side, uh, light being, I'm guessing lightweight. This is a complete blank canvas, uh, mainly storage for me, I think, but also maybe I might put a charging station here with an inverter. I'm also thinking about putting some uh, Milwaukee pack out in here. I really like their modular design. Something I really like about this as well, I, I didn't really know about this before, but these are the integrated tie down points. Uh, you've got a few around the canopy up there. Uh, there's one on there's two on the other side um, yeah it just makes it a lot easier to tie things down so yeah I'm really glad that I I went for the full color co-finish I don't really wash this car often um, 
and I know that with the raw aluminium it's just going to start oxidizing. So I'm really happy with how um, this has turned out. It was a premium price but um, it's going to be worth it and I know that I will be putting this to good use. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, again, thank you Noah for this amazing product. Uh, and also thank you for the team here for letting me film. I really enjoyed that video. So um, if there's anything in particular you want to see about the canopy, uh, let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video.